You know what? I think I'll make a positive video about Rhino Church. I mean, I guess it's that maybe I want to be him. No, 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 that's not it. But uh, it's just he has a lot of fans. And I guarantee you, if he goes out of the United States, you might have one or two people who like, Oh, that might not touch. But, dude, I have a Peruvian fiancé. We've been together for two years almost. And I'm going there this year. Actually, I'm not going to tell you when I'm going, but it's at the beginning of the year. And I invite you. And I guarantee you, when you go there, nobody will know you. Nobody will hassle you. Damn, I gotta wash my face down the shit. Son of a bitch. I, I gotta make a video without this shit. But, I'm just saying to dog, well, a person who I think I know, but I don't. I guarantee you, if you come to my wedding, people will be like, Oh, who is that your cousin? Is that your cousin? No, 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 your cousin. But if you want to get away, come to Peru. Lima, Peru. I mean, it is very beautiful. I mean, you see people portray it on TV, on YouTube and all that. Uh, all these prostitutes and all that. No, it's not like that. No. Nope. Not at all. The hostels and all that stuff is for, like, teenagers who want to, like, sneak away from their families and get them a piece because the families are very strict. And I guarantee you, if you like eating, damn it, you will come here. You're not leaving that table till you eat all your damn food. And I'm sure the country boys like us, we love damn food. And I mean, their food is, you might think is different. What well, is different? One reason is because they don't have all the added stuff to it. And I mean, like the turkey is muy bueno. I mean, everybody is nice. I mean, you, just like every part of the world. You have your bad places. You have your, your good places. I mean, I'd rather be in Peru than like Baltimore or Chicago or anything like that. I was never fearful for anything when I went to Peru. And when I met this girl, oh my God. Yes, I met her off Tinder. But thing is, I know what to look for in a scammer. I've met this girl last year. Well, actually, I was with her about six, seven months before I actually went and visited her for three and a half months. And I got an Airbnb. And next thing I know, I didn't even need the Airbnb because I stayed at her house. And they were... Her parents were more welcoming, more loyal than anything. And I had a lot of things going on, and I said I would come back in June. And now it's the end of, the, of December. But guess what? We're getting married now. I have all my papers and everything. And she wants to come over here. I want her to come over here. She has to do her... Visa papers or green card papers, like, I think it's like, if you get your visa, come over here, get married, you go back there, then you get your green card, come back here, and then you can be a permanent citizen. But that made me think about the border bull crap. I mean, there are good people out there. The people who are smuggling drugs and all that shit. I mean, yes, they should be kept out, and we should 
definitely keep an eye out for that. But people who are actually true uh, to their word, and this girl is 100% true to me. You want a girl to keep you right? You get a Peruvian girl. I mean, this girl is beautiful, amazing. Never have to worry about cheating. And American girls, not all American girls, but most American girls are whores. So it's usually going to end up like divorce with American girls. But this girl, she will treat you like you are her king. And guess what? I will treat her like I am her king. Wait, did I say that right? I think I did, but regardless, I'm telling you, you were invited to my wedding. No cameras, no nothing. Just come. Say hi to everybody. They will not know who in the fuck you are. Which I'm sure you need that. When I and I, they're so like. If you come into their house, they would she would treat you with respect. And it's like the United States, like you have your bad people, you have your good people, you just watch out for them. Let's call it the Peru Squad, not the Creep Squad. I'm not. Not Creek, I mean Creek Squad. But, man, it's just a total different world over there. You realize how, how great you have it here. Even if you're in poverty, living in a trailer where there are shootings every night, you go over there, you hear no shootings. You'll hear a lot of fireworks on like the on Christmas and the uh, New Year's Eve. Other than that, I mean, you really have nothing to worry about. Just you got to be cautious everywhere you go. But up church, you bitch. I mean that in a semi-good way. Just try, bitch.